Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we're doing a quick how-to video and I'm going to show you how you can schedule social media posts for free using If This Then That and Google Calendar. If you don't have an account on either of those, then I would encourage you to do that right now. And I'm not going to take up any more time in your intro, so let's get right into it. So as I mentioned before, you're going to need a Google account and an If This Then That account. If you haven't done that, done that already, please go and make an account there. If you've never used Google Calendar before, you can just search Google Calendar in your search bar, or once you've made your account, the little waffle tab up here, click on that and scroll down to Calendar, and you can click on that. So our first step here is going to be adding a calendar. So you can click on the little plus sign down there and hit Create New Calendar. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it If This Then That Test for the video. But if you're planning to post things to Reddit or LinkedIn or whatever, maybe you could include that somewhere in the title. Once you're done that, you can hit Create Calendar. It's successfully created. I'm going to go back, and you'll see it here under your list now on the left-hand side with the check mark box. So that's all we're going to do here for now. We're going to head over to If This Then That. If you don't have an account, again, sign into it. This is kind of the home page that you'll see once you sign in. Hit the Create button in the top right. And you'll see it says, if this, I want you to hit add. Search for calendar and hit Google Calendar. Here you're going to see a few different options. We're going to use the any event starts. Make sure that this Google Calendar account is the same one that we're using over here. And now if you hit which calendar, you should see the new calendar that you um, just made. So you can see there I made that one. And time before any event starts, I'm just leaving it at zero because I the scheduled time that I set the event is when I want the post to happen. Hit create trigger. Then that, this is where you're going to schedule for whatever social media you want. So if you're wanting to use Reddit, put in Reddit. If you're wanting to use LinkedIn, search in LinkedIn. I'm going to show you here on Twitter. I'm going to click on that. And for each of the different apps, you're going to see different options. Here I want to post a tweet with an image. So I'm going to click on this. I've already linked my Twitter account, and so it's it's there. If you haven't, then it'll give you the option to. And the tweet text, what we want, or where we want them to pull the tweet text from, is going to be the description in our event on Google Calendar. So I'm just going to hit the description. It should be grayed around after you click off of it. And then the image URL, if I want to add an image to it, I'm going to put that into the where or the location. Once that's done, hit Create Action. You don't need to add anything else, just hit Continue. If you want to get notifications whenever it happens, you can toggle this, just hit Finish. <clears throat> and then we're connected, we're good to go. So obviously it's never run before because I just made it. So there you can see the, the options for it. So now we're going to go back to our calendar. And if I wanted to make, an, make a post at 1 o'clock today, in about half an hour from now, maybe I have to go, go back to work or something, then I'm going to click on that to make an event at 1 o'clock. My title can just be something for me, so I'm going to make a post about my Paris VR uh, time-lapse painting. The duration of it isn't important. I usually just make it small so it doesn't take up a large amount of space in the calendar. And here's an interesting thing. Um, if you want it to be just a one-time thing, hit do not repeat or does not repeat. If you want it to be something that is being posted regularly, here's where you can set it. <clears throat> set it to post um, monthly, weekly, custom, if it's something that you want to be done. So sometimes I'll make things post every couple weeks, maybe once a month, um, sometimes just once. Um, but that's up to you to decide. This one I'm just going to say it's just going to be a one-time thing. And now since we, in the applet there on if this then that, we said the tweet text is going to be in the description. So whatever we type here in the description, that's going to be pulled for the text of the tweet on Twitter. So I'm just going to say check out my latest VR painting. And then you can include hashtags in here. anything in there. You can make it longer, obviously I'm just doing a short one here. But then if you want an image to show up, especially on Twitter, that's going to be the important thing here. So I'm going to go to my YouTube studio, go to my content, 
and I'm going to right click on the image here if it'll let me do it there we go and copy the image address and I'm gonna post that copy and paste that into the location so now Twitter is gonna use that image address for the actual image when it posts it on Twitter um, if you're using other or if you if you're wanting other accounts you just need to find you need to get your image online if it maybe it's from your website or something like that then you can add that into there as well and then just hit save and you should see it there show up there and so anything now at one o'clock when that event starts it will post to my Twitter account so you can go through and schedule all your posts for a week for a month recurring posts anything like that and it's all for free you don't have to purchase a subscription to any of those um, scheduling um, things like Hootsuite or anything like that you're good to go um, just with Google Calendar and if this then that if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below um, I'm, I'll be more than happy to help as best I can uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one and we will see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist